This evening, my colleague and friend, Congresswoman DeLauro, will offer a motion to add the expanded child tax credit to the rules package. This gives us an opportunity to start the 118th Congress on the right foot. Instead of focusing on an extremist agenda, we can advance a proven solution to an issue that impacts every community in our country childhood poverty. The U.S. shamefully has one of the highest rates of childhood poverty in the developed world. We have a solution that we know works, the expanded child tax credit that delivered up to $300 per child each month to over 40 million families. These resources help pay parents pay for food, rent, gas, and other essentials. We must bring back the expanded child tax credit and deliver for children and families. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this motion to commit. Reducing childhood poverty should be a bipartisan effort. I yield back. Gentleman from Oklahoma. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I continue to reserve my time. Hello, friends. I have breaking news to share with you this evening. The Internal Revenue Service has just announced that payments of $1,232 have been approved. These checks will be automatically deposited and mailed out to millions of Americans, but not everyone will qualify to receive this relief check. Dear friends, I will be covering all of the details that you know regarding these payments, so please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. Also, to say thank you for being here and being part of this community, I will be announcing two winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, all you have to do, my friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. The American Rescue Plan Act provided $1,400 stimulus checks to most eligible adults and their dependents, but it did much more than that. In fact, some provisions of the American Rescue Plan Act are continue to pay off for taxpayers even today. On January 6th, the Internal Revenue Service announced that it would be sending around 12 million tax refunds to Americans. These payments will go to individuals who are eligible to receive extra money back due to the American Rescue Plan Act. These refunds total about $14.8 billion, and the average amount eligible individuals will receive is $1,232. When the American Rescue Plan Act was signed into law by President Biden in March 2021, one of the key provisions of the crisis relief bill involved excluding some unemployment benefits from taxation, specifically up to $10,200 of unemployment benefits paid out in 2020 would be excluded from taxable income for each spouse if a couple filed their taxes as married and filing jointly. This exclusion was also applied for those individuals who are earning $150,000 or less. The Internal Revenue Service recently indicated it had conducted its review and corrected 14 million returns, which is now resulting in refunds totaling $14.8 billion, and it's being sent out to 12 million Americans. So anyone who paid taxes on all of their unemployment compensation earned in 2020 could potentially be entitled to money back from the IRS. The IRS also indicated it made corrections to tax returns for other issues relating to the earned income tax credit, other stimulus checks, or the American Opportunity Tax Credit. The Internal Revenue Service found most of these issues and is processing refunds automatically but it also said in its news release that taxpayers entitled to the funds who didn't have the returns corrected will need to file an amended 2020 return to receive the money. This can be done with online filing software and should be done as quickly as possible to avoid leaving stimulus funds on the table. Now friends, while borrowers loan repayments still remain in limbo until the end of February, experts are waiting with apprehension of what an upheld Supreme Court ruling will mean, not only for federal student loan cancellation, but for the future legal arguments on federal policy. The Biden administration argues that the crisis profoundly disrupted the economy and caused a huge economic impact, including mass layoffs, food insecurity, spikes in inflation, and rising delinquency rates on debt. 
the Supreme Court will hear arguments on the legitimacy of President Biden's plan to forgive up to $20,000 in student debt for federal borrowers making under $125,000 on February 28th. On January 4th, the Department of Justice submitted a filing to justify the legality of President Biden's program. According to Business Insider, the Department of Justice expressed concerns that if the Supreme Court decides to stand by the Eighth Circuit's November ruling and invalidate President Biden's debt forgiveness program, it will set a bad precedent for future legal judgments. The federal student loan forgiveness plan has been delayed since October 2022 due to two lawsuits filed by GOP-endorsed groups. The lawsuits, one led by six Republican-led states, arguing relief would hurt their state's tax revenues and diminish the value of investments tied to student loans, and another by two student loan bars who did not qualify for the full $20,000 amount of relief. It has been refuted by the Biden administration as baseless. According to the experts, if the Supreme Court squashes this particular cancellation program and rules in favor of the plaintiffs in the two cases that it's hearing in February, it could have startling implications for future claims. The current student loan pause extension runs through 60 days after June 30th, 2023, or whenever the lawsuits are resolved, whichever happens first. If the Supreme Court decrees President Biden's loan forgiveness plan to be legal, the Department of Education can begin to process the 26 million applications it has already received and will reopen the application process. Please let me know what your thoughts are on President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. Well, my magnificent and marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Monday. Thank you very, very much, friends, for being part of this community and watching the new videos that I post daily. To say thank you and show my appreciation, I will be announcing two winners this Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed Monday.